finally they have a device where I can sit down my tablet and watch my favorite YouTuber. Now doesn't this look like a cool little doohickey? This is a phone and tablet stand. It is an As Seen on TV product and I did purchase this from my local As Seen on TV retailer. Let's do a quick unboxing. I will say this thing is pretty heavy and I'm so glad to see some directions under there. We will take a look at those just to see what we're doing. This is marketed as being compact and lightweight. And yes, I do like that it folds up like this, but let's see the weight on there. So it's about 13.5 ounces, which honestly is not very light if you're thinking about travel purposes. So it's pretty self-explanatory. All you do is lift this thing up and adjust it to the specific level that you want and you can stick a phone or tablet on there. Now we're gonna see if it works. Before we go much further, if you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews For You. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that aligns with something that you're looking for online, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now let's get right back to reviewing this phone and tablet stand. I like how here at the bottom there is a cutout between the two holders where you can fit a charger. So therefore I could have it here in the doohickey phone and tablet stand and it still charges. That is very convenient. I really like the adjustability of the different levels and every time you set it there, it seems to be holding solid in its place, whereas it's not going to move. I will say, however, it does seem a bit wobbly. Like if you touch it, it can wobble, but then again, I guess you're just leaving it sit there so you probably won't touch it. It is pretty cool in portrait mode, but honestly, I like it better in landscape mode. And realistically, if you're watching videos, this is probably the way you're going to be leaving it. Now, if you're reading a book, it might go better the other way, but it is pretty versatile. Although this is marketed as a phone and tablet stand, if you have a smaller phone, it's actually a little difficult to hold it right here in the portrait um, style with the phone up, up and down. I find that sometimes I've had it and the phone has slipped here and then fallen off. That being said, in the landscape mode, it does fit really well. I have a larger phone, like I have a Note 20, and that one fits on here pretty well because I don't drop it through there, but smaller phones are a little more difficult unless you do it in the landscape mode. On the back where your phone or tablet will sit, there's almost like a grippy or a textured surface, I should say, and then that same textured surface is mirrored down here where the tablet or phone will sit. When you're all done, all you do is push it down and it folds right back into place. Pretty simple. So now to simulate some use, I'm gonna open it and close this just about 700 times. I figure that's about a year's use if you open and close it about two times a day. The shelf down here where the tablet or phone will sit, it has like a spring mechanism that brings it back to place. My only recommendation is be careful not to overextend it this way or pushing it down because once you do, you actually unwind the spring and then of course this part won't work. I just finished opening and closing this about 740 times. Well, just for fun. And I put a lot of pressure on this hinge here and this hinge here, and I'm really impressed that they are still holding up strong and they are tight and it will keep that in place. And I like that. You know what's funny though? I didn't put any pressure on these two spots right here. All that was was when it closed, it hit the bottom and watch this. It doesn't even hold anymore. Very disappointing. So what are your thoughts of this desktop stand for your phone or your tablet? Is it something that you've used? Would you even be interested? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now I'm going to compare the doohickey stand to another stand that I've been using for a very long time. I wanted to show you a comparison between the doohickey phone and tablet stand and a tablet and phone stand that I use on a regular basis. In fact, I've had this one for over two years. It's by a company called Lamical, and this is their S stand. As you can see, they both have a hinge feature where you can adjust the angle for your phone or tablet, and they 
both stick pretty strong. One thing I really like about the Lamacol stand is where your phone or tablet will rest is actually covered in rubber. And to me, in my opinion, that's more of like an impact or a shock absorbing feature. Also, there's rubber here on the bottom. Now I did walk you through this is like a foam padding, not necessarily rubber, and that's the same material they use on the bottom. It's just not as high of quality as the rubber that the Lamacol uses. I guess the biggest feature where the doohickey reigns supreme is the portability. I can fold this down and put that into a briefcase or to a suitcase and travel, whereas the Lamacol one, I cannot. That's as small as it gets. In all fairness to the Lamacol company, this one's not marketed as a travel stand, it's marketed as a desktop stand and that it does a great job. And realistically, you're gonna be using the doohickey phone and tablet stand on your desktop as well. In this video, we were looking at the doohickey phone and tablet stand. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, it was 15 bucks and I love that it came in $5 less than a typical as seen on TV priced item. I'm a really big fan of the portability or the able to be compact and slip it right into your suitcase and travel. That to me is really, really convenient. I guess that's kind of where the pros end, right? Yeah, it did have lots of different angles and those two hinges are really, really tough, but I was really disappointed on those lower hinges where you actually had your tablet or your phone being held because those things just broke on the first day I even was starting using this, so I had to get another one to continue this review. In my opinion, this company should go back to the drawing board and maybe put a different kind of hinge or holder down there because that is really an important part. I guess I'm gonna be sticking with my Lamical desktop stand. If either of these products were something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. No, you're not seeing double. I actually have two of these stands. As I was filming this video, this stand over here, well, these pieces just broke and well, I couldn't finish the rest of the video. So I went and picked up another one. I put this one through the same rigorous testing of opening and closing it about 730 times, just like I did here on this one, except I made sure I was careful every time I closed so I did not put any pressure on this part of the stand. Realistically, this is your weakest point. And in fact, on this one, the things ended up snapping off. There was a wired coil in there that just unwound and broke. So if this part breaks, well, you're out of luck. I really wish that maybe in future generations of this product, they would change this setup to make this part a whole lot stronger because that's really one of the most important parts. Well, it keeps your tablet in place. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of this phone and tablet stand. You know what, not that long ago, I reviewed another product called the Desk Call, and it's actually a phone stand. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here, and I would love it if you would click on this link. And when you do, by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you at this review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.